Good morning, it's Shanna. I'm back. And I'm going to make a video today about what decks I want to use for the month of April. Um, in watching back a lot of my videos, I've realized that I don't really use decks seasonally as much as I thought I did, so much as monthly. So I heard myself consistently saying, you know, my, my April deck, my May deck, July deck, etc. So I decided to kind of just run with that. And so my April decks I have here, I just have two, but I kind of wanted to pull in an oracle or two also to see if they if they work together. So my first deck is the Mystic Fairy Tarot. I had to look at the book. I can never remember the names of these. Mystic Fairy Tarot. It's a Llewellyn deck. What's this? I bought this deck last year and used it in the spring for April and really enjoyed it. So this is now officially my April deck. Um, I love the colors. It just has that like soft sunshiny vibe, you know, that you kind of feel before summer officially hits. So yeah. Um, okay, an update on my little bird tarot. I just posted a reel to Instagram um, showing the last draft box that I just got in yesterday. Um, it's a glossy finish, uh, and I put it next to one of the last ones that I received, which is a matte finish. And I will actually be using, going with the matte finish for the launch of the Kickstarter. Um, the designs, the design on the front and the back is finally finished. There are a few little tweaky things that, you know, I can, I can take care of between now and now and then. Um, and then I reached out to a few creators here on YouTube to see if they would mind doing a review of the deck for me. And they all generously, graciously accepted, which I was thrilled about. So once I order those, which I intend to do tomorrow or Friday, it's a couple more days off. Once I do that uh, and they receive those decks, then I will launch the campaign. So I'm thinking it's going to be the 19th, maybe the 22nd, depending on whenever everyone receives their decks. Um, that will give everyone time to have the deck, play with it, do the review, um, give everyone plenty of a chance to make it over to Kickstarter if you're interested, and we shall see, go from there. Uh, I've been pleasantly surprised with the number of followers I've had so far, um, which I guess it doesn't surprise me, but also it kind of does. And I know, you know, that doesn't mean we're going to have that many backers, but it's hopeful. It's hopeful. So I'm excited and mostly just to see where this goes, see what I can do with it. So that's that. Okay. Do you guys want to see, I wondered if the Poesis Oracle would look good with this. So let's pull that out. This is a brand new deck for me. I have not really used it. Have I used it at all? No, I haven't. So I mentioned, I think I mentioned, so if I'm repeating myself, so very sorry, um, that I am going to use this deck in place of the Reclaim Oracle that I just rehomed. It's in a box sitting on my counter as we speak, ready to go out in the mail tomorrow. So I'm excited to have it go to a no new home. The owner seems thrilled to have it. And I'm thrilled that the person who asked for it is someone I was happy to send it to. So all of that being said, this looks really good, uh, actually, even better than I thought. I thought maybe this would be too pink pastel, but I think there's enough yellow in this deck. It's not really even yellow. It's kind of that creamy, like what, buttery color. Yeah, I think that goes really well, actually. Okay, so let's look at the, you know, we should shuffle this. I feel like we should shuffle these because I want to get kind of a true impression of how they work together, aesthetics aside. Let's do a quick shuffle and see how they speak to each other. Okay. 
This uh, was not well planned, as you can see. I'm so sorry. Ah! Let's move these so I can actually shuffle like a normal person and maybe not bend cards. As you can tell, I've not broken it in yet, so it's still a little stiff, but it's not hard to shuffle, which I appreciate. Should definitely break in nicely. Okay, so I wanna pair these two. Let's shuffle the fairy tarot as well. I feel like I have to give the decks a heads up, like tell them, you know, who they're gonna be working with so that they can set themselves up appropriately. Is that weird? Maybe. Okay. Let me end frame here. All right. So we've got magic, knave of wands, and feel. Okay, so I'm thinking was the knave, I'm pretty sure the knave is the page. He looks like probably the page. Magic, okay. I could see this. Compassion, Wheel of Fortune, and Womb. Oh, I like that. I like these kind of, I mean, this isn't a circle necessarily, but I kind of get that image of, you know, Mm, wholeness. Home, Ace of Pentacles, and Change. I like this. Okay. I'm not going to go into this too deep because that's not what this video is. I just kind of wanted to get a vibe. And so far, I'm really liking this. This is another one, the Poesis, that despite its monochromatic colors, I really feel like works for spring. I just, I do, and I, I'm glad I have this. Last one, Guide, the Tower, and Wound. Ooh, interesting. I like the directional pull of these. Everything's sort of be leaning this way. Interesting. Okay. I lied, so we're, pulling, we're looking at one more. Now I'm excited, now I wanna play with this, okay. Well, that's my first one for April. Um, I, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna leave the deck out, but no, I'm not. I have dogs that chew up cards. If I, if one drops on the floor, it's probably going to be gone. So it's a bad practice for me to leave cards out. All right, next up I have the Tarot Landscapes. This one's a brand new deck for me. I have not worked with it other than I think I, I did one spread with it a week or so ago. And I really, really like it. More than I thought I would. Like I saw the deck and I really loved it. I definitely, I know, I knew I wanted to try it, but I was pleasantly surprised with how, how good it felt to read with it. Um, should we look at this with the polices? Hmm. Let's see, just for grins and giggles. I feel like this one might be a little too colorful for that one, but let's try it anyway. Give it a couple little Lips. Okay. I think it could work. But I don't really like it. I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. Let's try something different. That is not the... <laughs> Ew. 
this is the correct box. Distracted. And my stomach's growling again, so that's classy. Let's try flower medicine. I feel like the color colors are a little closer to what I'm looking for. All right. That's nice together. I just love this little bird. Okay. We're not going to overthink this. I do, however, want to make sure everything's in frame. Okay. New love, strength, and courage and transformation. Spirituality, psychic energy, page of wands. Interesting, I just pulled the page of wands. And hope. This is really pretty together. I very much enjoy the aesthetic of this. And on the next one, we're going to focus more on the keyword and see if we think it works well together. Nobility. My gosh, ignore me. I'm trying to straighten things doesn't matter. It's fine. Nobility, ten of cups, and wishes will be granted. That's really cute. I love this. This feels... This one, you know, in the traditional one, you've got the rainbow, which, you, you know, obviously you have here in the water. And I sort of feel like we get that here as well. Nobility. For Magnolia. Okay. Fame. Page of Swords and Hydrangea. Beautiful with the colors. I think this would be one of those decks you could definitely work with um, with colors because it feels like such an important aspect of each of the cards. So that's interesting. Seize the day, nine of pentacles and sacrifice. I like that, that's a great message. Okay. Ooh, oranges. Yes, that's pretty. Let's look at a couple more. So yeah, this feels very April to me. I, I feel like the Oracle could definitely lean into May as well, just having the more vibrant colors. Um, like we're not quite there yet as far as flowers in the yard go. But I feel like this could definitely lead into that season. Abundance, Seven of Wands, and Fertility. Ooh. Okay. So that's another pairing that I had not anticipated, but we'll definitely be playing with more. Let's just look at a few more of these cards. I just like how immersive these feel. They're quiet. I feel like, you know, it's easy to step into the step into the image, the moment. It allows you to garner your own interpretation of the card. You know, it's not just in your face. This is what it means, which I really appreciate. This feels like one of those decks that I could take to the coast with me when I go without being an ocean deck, you know? I live about, oh, I don't know, hour and 15 minutes from the coast. So yeah, I find myself there a lot. This might be a fun one to take. This card reminds me of um, Tarot of Oneness. I know there's a card in there that has a seagull. Can't remember exactly what it was a picture of, but yeah, that's what that reminds me of. And this deck for me honestly kind of takes the place of that. I don't have the Tarot of Oneness, but I've gone back and forth as to whether or not I should get it. 
And it's just not one that I feel like the artwork would really work for me. I've had, you know, a handful of decks that have similar artwork and it, they just don't quite work for me, but this one does. So I feel like this is, this is the deck that I, you know, it gives me permission not to get Tarot of Oneness, right? So lastly, and I won't go on about it because I did just do a flip through is the Hush Tarot. Um, I just trimmed it in case you didn't see that video, which I don't know. But anyway, I trimmed it. I was not using the deck. It drove me nuts. I, there were too many cards that I didn't like, and so I just simply didn't use it. So I trimmed it. I kept a few of the cards that I don't love, but I wasn't quite ready to get rid of, and the rest I just threw away, um, which... <laughs> Not that he ever would, but hopefully the artist never sees this. I, I would never want someone to be like, oh, nice, they threw away my art. That would be, that would hurt my feelings. So it's okay, though. It just didn't resonate for me for a tarot deck so or, a, you know, any kind of deck. All of that aside, I feel like this could be that kind of springy, muddy, moody, Pacific Northwest spring. And I feel like this would work really well as an oracle with a lot of the decks for this time of year. I know this one generally comes out for most people that I've seen in the fall, but I feel like there's enough pink in here that it just, it definitely can lend itself to the spring vibe as well. So, yeah, that's that. I really don't have much again this week. Um, mostly I just wanted to come on and Go over some of the April decks, give a quick update on my tarot, and that's pretty much it for the week. I'm enjoying my three days off because I I need three days off every week. So that's that. Um, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate your comments and I enjoy reading them and replying to them. And yeah, so I will I will catch you guys later. Bye. Thank you.